So we're just checking out to see just like how easy it is to set up this bongo buggy tent on the top. And that's like an extra bed. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing ever. like driving to our next destination we're on our next leg so we're going from the desert back to the ocean driving in the bongo buggy yeah our house on wheels let's give you a shot what's going on there there's San Diego there's just a little bit of mist every morning to be drying off but I'm not sure if you can see but I can see the city out in the distance and the bridge it's pretty cool stuff and, the US Navy. and there's the US Navy we're driving by yeah good stuff here we are in Coronado it's like a mini Beverly Hills, I swear. It's so lush here, so different than where we were this morning. And just for the record, we get more looks in this bongo buggy than Barry did when he owned a Corvette. Just say it. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's pretty unique. Okay, speed bump in the road. We're here in Coronado and we had a reservation at the, the beach campground and it's an RV park and apparently we need to have our own toilet and our own water to camp there so the reservation was cancelled which means we're not sure where we're sleeping tonight so the adventure continues uh, this is the first speed bump in our journey let's see where it takes us uh, perhaps God God it wasn't in his plan to have us there tonight so onward we go oh yeah because there is like no toilet on here um and yeah there's not enough room uh, really but usually a campsite has a toilet but the reason why just for future reference of bongo buggy travelers is that the day use gets shut down so their toilets get locked at night so you have to have your own porta potty and water pumping station on board to camp there in their RV park. Bongo Buggy does not have that. They so don't refund. They don't refund either unless you cancel within 24 hours. So we're out in expensive reservation, but like I said, it wasn't in God's plan, so we just have to go with it. You gotta be stuck in the rush hour traffic to really, truly appreciate where we live, where it takes like a minute to get anywhere. And this does not happen. Actually, it doesn't look too bad through this lens, but I can see <laughs> way over. It's pretty congested. There you go. 
There we go. 12 lanes. 12 solid. lanes, solid. Super thankful for snacks in the bongo buggy. Because we have a fridge back there, which I'll have to show you a little bit later how that works, but celery right now is working. Yeah, here we go. That's there. So we've arrived here and we're Oceanside. We're literally Oceanside, so that's the beach over there. And we're also like right in between the beach and the yacht club. So this is pretty cool. There's all these boats down there. Um, we're literally in a parking lot, but I don't know if you saw. There's bathrooms over there, just no showers. And I'll take you to the beach in a second. But I just want to see, show you, because we didn't show you yet, the conversions, right? So this is like our our, our um, dinner table right here. And over here, you open it up, open up the back. Got a little stash of wine there. And then we open this. This is our fridge. So we got some stuff in here. Got to grab, we're gonna have some dinner. Meatless meatballs. And uh, I got some rice in there, we'll have two. This is our other cabinet. So we got some mishmash of stuff in there. And it's kinda, we got some more things, the sleeping bags go in this cabinet. So it's really quite smart, um, the way it's designed. Starving. So it's like six o'clock and we're here and we can stay for a little while because there's a beach right over there. See which way to the beach. <laughs> That's funny. No, really it's not. So this is where we are. So our buggy, it's actually, it's an overnight park. So we don't have all amenities, but we do have most. So buggy's back there, beach is here. I'd say that's a pretty good spot to camp tonight. Gonna get up in the morning and have a beach run. So here we are today. This is our spot. Bongo buggy. Can really sleep anywhere. Thought of the day. I miss the comforts of going to the bathroom by myself. I know, TMI, TMI. But like a few days of just public restrooms um, I woke up a little cranky this morning and perhaps I shouldn't be because look at this gorgeous view. So I'm about to go for a nice long run along the beach. It's going to be warm, but there's a beautiful breeze. Alright, so something that we did not expect um, in the Mongo buggy is to kind of have a celebrity status. Uh, wherever we go, people want to know what it looks like inside the buggy. And you know, everywhere we're in Oceanside still, and everyone is just so friendly. But there is times, there are times, I should say, where I just really don't want to show you around the bongo buggy. Like when I just literally open my eyes and I'm getting out in the morning and the first thing I can think of is that I have to go pee. <laughs> it, that's not a good time to ask me um, what it looks like inside the Wonka buggy and if they are, you know, something that I we're having fun with. Well, I'm sorry, my brain is not on yet. But though, I guess that's kind of what's different in RV parking and um, camping. Uh, usually when I'm in the bush camping, uh, the campsites are farther away from each other. 
um, and not side by side. So, you know, they mean well. People mean well. They're all kind and everything. And, and maybe they just don't realize that you, like, literally just opened your eyes. Um, but everybody really wants to know what it's like. Um, it's fun. I'll just say that. It's fun. Here, maybe, maybe I should give them the link to this video. Hey, that's a thought. Um, or maybe they could ask Google. No, that's just not very nice to say face to face to somebody. But yeah, you get the point. Um, we're really enjoying it thus far. We're on our last day. This is Friday. And uh, we're just enjoying some more of this beach. And uh, that's it. Bye for now. Okay, let's just say happy hour was pretty happy today. Yeah.